Today we'll be making this random guy, because this is just how to make a human body, I guess. And I gave him a beard, so yeah. Alright, here we have all the pieces for the body. This is the head, feet, arms, and body. And these go touch the feet. So, you're gonna need to get two of these pieces and put them on top of each other. And so from up here, all the way around to there. So, I'm gonna show you how this happens. So, so I poked it through there. Oh yeah, for those two pieces, do the exact same thing. But what you want to do is you're going to want to cut out the eyes, which is two white circles and two little circles, and then the beard any way you want. This is just from the picture that you sent me. So what you want to do with this is grab the top part, edge to the other edge. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, basically set up this piece across that line right there. On the back, since the end touches right there, I'm just gonna. Well, you can just regulate it. So, see these two, like flat, oops, these two corners, where the other mustache thing touches it. Just gonna. So, as long as they're sandwiched on top of each other, like, like that. You should be fine, it doesn't matter where you said exactly, you like so all around it if you want. Well, there you go, I guess. You have the beard mustache. And now for the eyes. Yes. Boom, have one of the eyes. From like the back. Start from the back and stab it in. Stab it. You do it again on the white. I'm gonna go ahead and connect both of them on here. It'll probably look like that. So I'm gonna do that. So let's put the head to the and turn it inside out. So now you're gonna stuff it and then close the top. It does, it's okay because it doesn't matter how it looks like when you close it because we're gonna add hair after we stuff it. So I'm gonna stuff it. The beard is Hair pieces doesn't matter. This is the front, this is the back. Then you want to grab your person, head, place it on the head wherever you want it. Find out where those two ends like basically meet, I guess, or wherever you want it. Put your bark here, and on the other side, and you save that. And you basically just sew along this line, leaving these two like triangle sides. Whatever, so it looks better when you place it on the inside out, or where you see the good side. Then you grab your head, and you put this on top, where you want to position it however you want it. And then what you're gonna wanna do is, first, you're gonna wanna sew against these two lines from like, about right there, it doesn't matter where, but roughly right there, and so all the way around to there. So I'm gonna show you how to go right here, and you go from the black to the skin color, which is the head, and you go to black. Here, line and go to like the back of the head. So 
can see how we sewn all the way here. To like, like the top of the head. So just stab it here all the way to the top of the head. side is done. Now I do it the same thing to the other side. So I'm gonna do that real quick. The other side. So this is what you do for the other side. So after you've done this side and you're here, do the same thing. You poke through, but instead of going to the top of the head, you go to the middle of the back of the head where the end of the hair meet. And you basically just same thing just right here you'll sew a little bit of this hair down so it doesn't go up so like that my hair is wonky because i didn't really cut it good that's basically what it should look basically like. so i sewed it all around i did trim the arms and the legs a little because I trimmed the body but yeah just if you need to like trim it down you can so you're gonna have this piece right here and at the bottom if you left the opening if you do this you're gonna want to place it right here where each end meets the foot yeah basically like like that mine's a little wonky but that's okay we're gonna stab both ends together like that. And then we just keep sewing all around, just all the way around. You do that for both legs. After that, you're going to do the arms, it's simple, just leave this opening so all the way around. You can add fingers, but I'm too lazy to do that, so I just added this. So, do all that, and I'll show you what to do next. Alright, so this is what the arm and the leg should look like once you stuff it. I haven't done these two yet, but I will do it, so this is what it should look like if you didn't stuff it. After you stuff it, you do this, and you want to cut out, for the shirt, the shirt collar, you need to cut out a long, uh, Thing that can wrap around this so an easy way is just go on your fabric and just wrap it and see if it fits and then cut it out what you're gonna want to do is before you do that you sew it onto the arm you want to fold in half sew it along the line and then it should slide through and then I'll show you how to sew all around the outer the shirt same thing with the leg pants leg you can do shorts or pants but you should do the same thing i was place some fabric and wrapped it until like it closed so then i cut right here marking it and then cut right there marked it and then just made a rectangle so yeah first you want to sew each side together so yeah grab this piece and you're gonna want to from the inside skin to the shirt that flat and then put the arm going inwards and then putting the other piece of felt on to look like that so when you turn it inside out it'll look good so this should be sticking out right here and this should be the bad side you want to place the arm where you want it and then I pinned it down because it's easy and what you want to go what you want to do is normal just sew it normal all the way out in between these two this is gonna be the best part. Just gonna stick it through all of that. So do that, and then all of it. <laughs> 
just start closing off. That will make it look like that. So it looks good. So just keep doing that all the way to the top. This is like when you finish. This is mine. And it's a little wonky, but I'm just gonna rush it. Then what you're gonna do is turn it inside out. Now yours is probably gonna be bigger. Mine's pretty tiny, so its hands kind of stick out. But then you cut out a circle and you place it on top. On top of it. Yeah, it's not gonna work out. But basically, you do this and all around just sew. Yeah, mine's too small. To so basically what you do is you just sew all around. The only opening should be up here where the neck is basically, where the head is. So yeah, the whole bottom part, just sew a circle on it. And then you want to turn it inside out and then I'll show you how to attach the feet. Yeah. So next what you're going to do is you're going to stop the needle through this and position it wherever you want it. So I'm going to like sew like that. And basically what you do is, hold on, let me... Let me pin it down first, cause it's yeah, you need to pin it down. And then you do that. Oh my gosh! Uh, there. So basically, this is what you do. You go leg like that. You go leg. And then you go to body. So that's what you do. And you do it all around. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So I finished the feet. This is what it should look like. Like the whole body should just be that. See, another way to do the arms is before, instead of sewing it like on the inside, you can just sew it on the outside and position it you know, however you want, like that. Even the hands going down. But that's a different way to do it. You can do whatever. Same thing you do with the feet. Do with the head, position it good. Okay, yeah, after that, I'll show you how to do the little sandals. Yeah. Okay, so for this, all you gotta do is tie a knot right here, and that'll be the little thing. Yeah. So this I'll show you. Should be easy. Just put your thing on a piece of fabric and cut out the shape it should be. So yeah, I should do this. And what you're gonna do is connect this side to the middle of that, like that, creating a sandal. And just turn it that and put it on his feet, and you got a person. Yeah. Done. Yeah, sandals are optional. You could just make the feet uh, the color of the shoes you want. You don't really have to, like, I want this can focus. So, like, before you do this, you just cut right there. Make the feet the shoe color. If not, then you can just leave it like that. And this is uh, that's how you do a man. Yeah. I rushed this and it's lazy, but you know, it's, it's still a human being.